to me by now Why won't they let me go Lucille, Lucille, you teach the sun To swim across the sky You make the rivers all to run And the autumn wind Um, Ken and I are coming to you from Vermont. Actually, I was born in Boston. Well, we're not there right now. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we got here, what, two days ago and been doing a couple of shows in the Boston area. But yeah, we live in southern Vermont. And um, we have uh, been waiting for the fall to arrive because that's like our big tourist season up there. But right now, the plants are still a little bit confused about what season it is. As am so, I. Yes. So we're going to do um, a cover. We're starting off here with a couple of of uh, seasonal songs. Uh, I should say right now that most of the songs that you're going to hear this afternoon are ones that Ken and I wrote, so we usually like to explain a little bit about the inspiration behind each song as we go through the program. Um, this next one is uh, a song that we wrote just in the autumn a few years ago, just sitting on our porch looking around us at the colors. And um, it's always really helpful for me when I'm writing if I can imagine characters or a story in the background. So for this uh, song, I imagined um, a pair of young lovers. They've just met, um, but it turns out it's time for one of them to uh, go off and serve in a war. So the song is written from the point of view of the person that's going off to serve and uh, is leaving home and familiar surroundings. And this one is called November Song. Are you ready? Yes. A two, three, four. Autumn trees burn against the sky So shines the color in my true love's eyes The summer grass, it grows green and high it bows before her when she walks by November chills turn to feel Fever, but I'm bound to go. Forsake the shore Stop the young men marching on To war Through the hills as the streams do flow That's the way 
she always seems to go As autumn trees burn against the sky So shines the color in my true love's I just got back, well, not just, we got back in July from a six and a half month tour um, that started off in January in the state of Florida. And we kind of stuck to the bottom half of the country uh, until the end of February for obvious reasons. And then um, we flew to New Zealand for the month of March and the UK for the month of April. Um, you make it sound so simple. I know. <laughs> And then we finally, um, we, we were rejoined. The for the month of May. Yeah, I know. We were, the idea was to keep heading west and to uh, see at the end of it if the earth is still in fact round. So we wanted to make sure of that. Um, yeah, we have a camper van that we do most of our shows in when we're uh, traveling in this country. And um, how many miles does it have on it now? 265,000. Yeah, so. And just getting started. Yeah. And we just put new brakes on, so hopefully, fingers crossed, yeah, hopefully a few more, a few more tours. Can go so that we can use those yeah, brakes. exactly. Um, so we have, you know, we do a lot of traveling, obviously, about 150 shows a year, and um, so we have our, our most recent album is called Further West, and it's kind of named after our travels, and a lot of the songs on the album are just observations of the places that we've traveled to, or people we've met along the way, or just reasons why other people travel, um, just as a general theme. So we're gonna do a couple songs from that album next. This first one is about a young girl whose life has kind of become a mess, so she heads off to uh, some place where she doesn't know anybody in the hopes that she can just kind of start her life all over again. Sounds good to me. It's called Hard Way to Learn. Are you ready? Yes. Ken used to be a rock drummer. That's why he says, are you ready all the time. <laughs> a two, three, four.
actually, this is not our first time at the Thomas Crane Library. We performed here, I think it was like seven years ago. I don't know, it was actually before Clayton's time. So, um, and we performed down in the, in the atrium several years ago, but this is a really gorgeous space. So it's, it's an honor we to be here. We performed down at the dungeon a few years yes. ago. Yeah, down. It's a way, way better. <laughs> Um, so we're going to do another song from our Further West album next. Um, this one is about, I guess the main character is sort of a con man. You can't quite always rely on what he's telling you. Um, and he's the narrator of the song too, so that makes it extra confusing. Um, but this is called Don't You Let Me Down. And it's a sing-along if you're so inclined. And for those of you watching at home several months later, <laughs> please sing very loud because it's a long way away. <laughs> I bought a house high on a hill, don't you let me down. We turned to dust as houses will, don't you let me down. Don't you let me down, don't you let me down. We turned to dust as houses will, don't you let me down. Saved a nickel every day, don't you let me down. Till the bank man stole it all away, don't you let me down. Don't you let me down, don't you let me down. The bank man stole it all away, don't you let me down. A truer friend you'll never find Don't you let me down Till the day I leave you all behind Don't you let me down As I was saying a little bit earlier, um, most of the songs you're going to be hearing this afternoon are ones that Ken and I wrote, but we'd like to do a song um, by another songwriter now, who's our, one of our favorite songwriters, Woody Guthrie. He may have heard the name. I'll you so <laughs> um, dead of yeah. Yes. Woody Guthrie. And um, this is a song that Woody wrote uh, back in 1942. It's called Pastures mm. of Plenty. It's a mighty hard road that my poor hands have hold. My poor feet have traveled a hot, dusty road. Out of your dust bowl and westward we rolled. Your deserts were hot and your mountains were cold. I worked in your orchards of peaches and prunes. I slept on the ground in the light of the moon. On the edge of the city you'll see us and then we come with the dust and we go with the wind Green pastures of plenty From dry desert ground From the grand coulee dam Where the waters run down Every state in the union Us migrants have been we work in this fight 
And we fight till we win It's always we ramble That river and I Along your green valley I work till I die my land I defend with my life if it be My pastures of plenty must always be free Thank you. We'll compensate. So, um, this is another song that we wrote, and um, the character when I was writing this song is based on um, a person that I actually know um, who's a really, it's, it, she's great because she's like one of the few people that even when I've had a horrible day, I can, you know, and I'm in a really, you know, I'm not really my best self. I know that I can still see her and she'll accept me no matter what mood I'm in and it'll all be. At least a therapist like that. Okay, actually, it is my therapist, but um, anyway, yeah. It's totally worth it. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully everybody has at least one person like this in their lives. Um, but yeah, her, in, in the song, the character's name is Sally Lazy, and that's the title of the song. Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Leave it trailing, trailing on the ground Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Worry too much, worry too hard to sleep Worry too much, worry too hard to sleep Had some friends but none that I could keep Worry too much, worry too hard to sleep Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Leave it trailing, trailing on the ground Oh, Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Walk with me, oh, walk with me a while Walk with me, oh, walk with me a while I've been traveling such a lonely mile Walk with me, oh, walk with me a while Sally Lazy, let your hair hide Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Leave it trailing, trailing on the ground Oh, Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Keep on moving or you fall out of time Keep on moving or you fall out of time Got no rhythm running out of rhyme Keep on moving or you fall out of time Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Leave it trailing, trailing on the ground Oh, Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down Got no money, nowhere to lay my head 
Got no money, nowhere to lay my head So I'm gonna make you smile instead I let the traffic go by <laughs> Sally Lazy, let your hair hang down. 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 Sally lazy, let your hair hang. Sally lazy, let your hair hang down. Thank you. Thank you. So um, when we were traveling across the country, especially out in the western states, um, when we're, we're traveling around in our camper van, which is affectionately known as the Blue Meanie, can't remember if I told you that yet or not, but um, there, you know, usually we'll do a gig, get in the van, drive to the next gig, somewhere along the way, hopefully we'll have time to stop and go to sleep for a little while, somewhere. Not always possible. Uh, not always possible. Um, but yeah, uh, and almost everywhere um, in this country, it seems that when we pull over for the night, we're woken up at some point by the sound of a train whistle and it's just such a part Nearly of the five feet behind us. I know <laughs> this just seems to be if you've ever wondered you know why are there so many folk and country songs about trains I think it's possibly just because traveling musicians hear them all the time and so it's kind of seeped into our subconscious and we just have to write about it so we felt like we you know we have we have to do our own train song it's just one of those requirements of being a folky. And so um, we decided to use the train as a metaphor for a relationship. And um, the idea behind this is the train is only as good as the track, as we need both, train and track. So this one is called Rolling Train. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. A two, three, four. Stop the wind, never stop the rain By standing in the path of a hurricane Let the thunder roll, let the waters rise Turn away the sun and bring the storm clouds dry You are a Going forth, I'm a coming back. You are asleep in town in the middle of the night, and I am a whistle blowing in the morning light. I could take back those words I said I never learned to quit while I'm ahead But you never count the battles lost and won Or all of the cruel and foolish things I've done I'm coming back You are asleep 
been in town in the middle of the night And I am a whistle blowing in the morning light give Ken a chance to talk now. Oh, for once. I know. One song per set, that's mm -hmm. all you do. I do tend to go on. <laughs> um, how's it going? Nice to see you all. Thanks for being here. Hi, Mark. Uh, um, yeah, um, it is really terrific. Um, I was talking to uh, Clayton earlier about this fantastic Richardsonian Romanesque library. And this is actually, uh, this is the, a true Richardsonian Romanesque. It's an ar architectural style uh, named after Richardson. And it's one of the very few that's actually named after a person. Um, I'm not going to go into extensive detail because then this will turn into a seminar and we will be here for the duration of um, the whole set. This is so why he only gets one song. Exactly, exactly. Um, but, you know, I, it's really a thrill being here because I love architecture. I've read A Field Guide to American Houses by Virginia Savage McAllister, second edition, which is probably in the stacks and I recommend it highly. I've read all 850 pages and I'm on my second reading. So, anyway, um, but this is really going nowhere, isn't it? Yes. So uh, I should introduce the song, but actually, well, it doesn't really matter because it's it's kind of loosely connected, um, unlike myself. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> but you know, a grand uh, building like this, or the simplest, uh, most humble house, they're easy to take for granted in many ways because you know they keep us safe and they keep us dry and they keep us warm, especially with, with heat registers like this. Like, look at this is incredible, it's amazing. Anyway, um, but it's all too easy to take them for granted. And um, you know, if you um, if, if they're neglected or if they're ignored, sooner or later they'll crumble and fall apart. That's just what happens. They have to be maintained and have to be cared for. So. We thought some years ago that people are kind of the same way, that if they are forgotten about or neglected, ignored, they too will crumble and turn to dust like an old abandoned building, no matter how grand, no matter how humble. And um, so we thought we'd have a song, we'd write a song for those people who are forgotten about, who are certainly feel forgotten about, which has probably been most of us at some point in our lives. Maybe it's some of us right now. But anyway, that's what this song is about. And it's the title track of our second album, and it's called Any Forgotten Thing. up at the sky and set it down on my shoes can't seem to turn my mind to what each day might bring cause I've fallen into disrepair like any forgotten thing the clock upon the man it's falling out of time I can't see why I should wind it Well, I'm so far behind But I might replace the front doorbell Just to hear it ring Oh, let the old one rust away Like any forgotten thing
Some things here can still be fixed For others it's too late But I can't be sure of what to keep And what to throw away It's like living in the space between The winter and the spring One season of uncertainty for every Thank you. Thank you. So we're doing a few songs in a row now from our second album, which is entitled Any Forgotten Thing, after that song we just played for you. Um, this next song was, was inspired partly by childhood memories of going to amusement parks, fairgrounds, any place where there were rides. And um, I've always hated the Ferris wheel. I'm just going to say that right now. It's, it looks so innocuous, but it's, it's so slow moving and the cages are so rickety that you have to sit in. I hate being the like, on the top of the Ferris wheel while they're loading people in down in the bottom. It always seems to take and forever. Like yeah, and Ken's always like crazy person. Yeah, making it like even worse <clears throat> for me. But yeah, I like, I like carousels because they basically, you know, you're staying on the ground most of the time. So that's my speed pretty much. But, um, and if you're on one of the outside horses, you can always try to reach for the brass ring, if it's one of the old-fashioned carousels that has the brass ring. And um, we were just, you know, I, I've, I've always tried to get the brass ring, but I never have. Um, so I started wondering at a really young age, you know, maybe, you know, there, maybe there's no free ride after all. Uh, so, deep. yeah, so it seems like a good, a good excuse uh, for a metaphor to write a song, and this song is uh, named after the antique instrument you still hear sometimes at old fairgrounds, um, which is a steam whistle instrument called a calliope. Invented in Worcester, Mass. Right. in 1857. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on our first date, Ken quizzed me on state capitals. You might need to know. I know. I know. Can you believe it? Music of the carousel echoes a sweet refrain of fairground scenes from days gone by and how we used to play my So, um, as 
I was saying, we play a lot of shows per year, so sometimes it's hard to find the time to write new material. And um, occasionally, when I have finally have a day off, I'll think, you know, maybe now I'll sit down and write a song. But a lot of times, what happens is I spend the whole day、um, staring at a blank piece of paper and not getting anywhere, and then going on Facebook. No,、um, but、uh, <laughs> but different, actually, different type of babbling. Right, right, definitely. <laughs> no, but then、uh, and then other times, you know, I'll be running around doing errands, not thinking about writing at all, and that's when you know I'll just notice something that gives me the idea for a song, and、um, I hope I'm not the only one. Other writers might experience. This too,、um, and so and sometimes these ideas take you by surprise, and it might be about something really ordinary.、Um, and one night I was just washing dishes in our house in Vermont, and、um, looking out our kitchen window at the night sky, and there was a meteor shower, and I just thought then you know maybe it would be fun to write a song where the main character is a falling star, and just see how that turns out. I saw one just the other night, making its way through the sky. Was a tiny light, just a falling star, a falling star, a falling star. I like to think it fell down to the ground. Safe, someplace it could be found. Just a falling star, a falling star, a falling star. Oh, little star, can you see me? Was it love that brought you down so easily? Just a falling star, a falling star, a falling star. Just a falling star, a falling star, a falling star.、Mm-hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> so.、Um, As I was saying, a lot of our songs are about characters or stories. That's just interesting for me and, and a fun way to write.、Um, but we wanted to write a different type of song,、um, and we were trying to think of a, another approach. And、uh, Ken was kind of just playing this little riff on the guitar, and so we were. Some, I guess, sometimes this is what I do. I just listen to the piece of music that I like and think, you know, what does that sound like? What is it evoking in, in my mind? I didn't even think it was a piece of music. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> so making it a little more grand. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But、um, anyway, so and maybe I was just projecting because we do so much of this. But when he was playing that, to me, it sounded like just driving down the highway. I guess most things sound like that after a while. We <laughs> spend so many days on the highway.、So. Getting a little stir crazy. Getting a little stir crazy. So、um, this is a song on our Further West album, and it's basically just an invitation to the listener to come along. With us in the blue mini for a ride. For a really long, boring drive. For a really long, boring. Exactly. Doesn't that sound great? All aboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is、um, called Static. On this 
highway, no reflectors Hard to see where we are turning now Driving after midnight past the farmers Who have put their fields to bed So far you'll never catch me now Soon to be forgotten anyhow The radio just crackles only static anytime I think of tuning in How it feels to think you've lost Whatever signal you once had Gone so far You'll never catch me now Soon to be forgotten When we last drove past a traffic light Maybe we can get to California By the morning if we drive all night Gone so far you'll never catch me We do maybe a hundred library concerts a year. We love them. I just, I like being able to do concerts surrounded by books. It, feel, it just feels right somehow. But Especially in a Richardsonian romance. I know, I know. We love these. Have you noticed the asymmetrical um, mezzanine floors? With, they have different types of balconies. I mean, this is like true like architectural genius at work here. It's a really, really, a really nice um, flourish that you don't find in out of the box libraries. Right. Out of, I'm out not, out to, of the box. not to like besmirch them. Like right. I, um, I know. But, um, <laughs> you it, worked you know, that This in. is just a really. They just don't make them like this anymore. They can't. So, um, but yeah. So we do a lot of these concerts, and you know, libraries are starting. You know, when I was a kid, they didn't really have all this musical programming or other kinds of programming. And now it's like we've gone, the other day we played a concert at a library that the next, the next program was going to be like a beer making seminar or something. And Where's then that? There was one, that was at Chelmsford. And then, there, by the way, totally in case you're interested, um, and then there was one out west in uh, in Oregon that was there was like a tattoo workshop. So they're they, like, they were fake tattoos. But still, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. So how about a tattoo um, removal workshop? Tattoo, I know. <laughs> I might have to go to that. But um, so. There's all kinds of different programs at libraries now, which is why, you know, sometimes people come to our show and because our name, they think it's a, a cooking class. So you've probably figured out by now there that that's not the Hungry case. There is a book called Hungry Town, which is about New Orleans, New Orleans cooking. Yeah, but, sounds good. But we came first. Yes. So, and we're going to play our, the song that gave us our name now, and it's named after um, a road in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia, Hungry Town Road. We were driving by um, when we were down recording our first album, and um, we thought which because of... Which is called of, Hungry Town. Which is called Hungry Town. Isn't that clever? <laughs> but we, we kept seeing this little road, Hungry Town Road, and thinking that it would lead to a place called Hungry Town, but when we 
drove down the road, it turned out to be a dead end. And so we just thought, you know, this, these are the kind of things that we find inspiring. So, um, so the fine line between inspiration and expiration. Yes. So, um, so we're going to play our song "Hungry Town Road" for you now, and um, it's basically just we decided to create the Hungry Town, you know, in song. It's not an actual place, but it's a, I guess, a striving for something better. That, so. that, that hidden road that you've seen. It's yeah. Like shit. That's, that you wish you uh, you took that road. If you, you if you take that road, yeah. it'll go to some place better than where we are now. Hopefully. Yeah. This is Hungry Town Road. Maybe at least in Narnia. Yeah, I don't could know. be. Yeah. There's a road that leads out of this town And one day gonna follow it down Place of love. I got married when I was just a young girl, and I never seen much of the world. But I learned how to fight with the ones that I love and to pay for the words that I say. out of this town and one day gonna follow it down I'm going down the hungry town road till I reach the place I belong Well I saved and I worked every day Never seemed to put much away. It's too low a price for a life that's so dear. So I guess I'll be moving along. There's a road that leads out of this town. Look up at the mountain so high that their treetops are brushing the sky, and I know there's a road that leads past those hills, but I wonder how far it will take me. There's a road that leads out of this town. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for everybody for coming out um, this afternoon. Thanks to Clayton for organizing the concert series. Can we have a round of applause for Clayton? Clayton, Clayton, Clayton. Thank you, Clayton. Um, and thanks also, for, thanks for Mark for all the great video yeah, work. Yeah, and yay, and and to the friends of the library as well for sponsoring all the programming. Definitely. Um, so please think about joining up. Yeah, think about joining the friends. You can sign up for our newsletter, which is affectionately known as the News Dumpster. So. So you know it's classy. Very classy. Let it roll into your inbox once a month. We like to say. Yes. 
And please um, join us online at Hungrytown.net or Facebook.com slash Hungrytown. And please like us on Facebook, even if you don't like us. Yes. <laughs> Come on, you know you've done it before. Um, so we're going to finish up with um, another song that we wrote. And this one is an Appalachian style harmony ballad. It was inspired by an Arctic wildflower called the Blue Star, which only blooms for a day or two during the summer solstice before dying. And so it's kind of stands in the song for um, all those beautiful but fleeting things that you just have to appreciate in the brief time when they're around. And this is called the sweetest flower. The sweetest flower I ever saw Grows on the westward plain The only boy I ever loved I never may see again The blue star blooms but once a year when the sun shines bright in the sky But if you pluck those flowers out Then they will surely die And if you tell the one you love That you'll be no man's bride He'll leave you sure as the sun will rise As sure as the tears you'll cry The flowers in my garden grow And bloom from spring to fall But wildflowers grow just where they will and need no care at all The sweetest flower I ever saw Grows on the westward plain The only boy I ever loved I never may see again Thank you, we're hungry sound.